At 4.30, Governor Walker putting an emphasis on shaping the future of manufacturing. Well, it's an industry that employs nearly half a million Wisconsinites, but there are nationwide concerns about an aging workforce. Our jo Ben Jordan shares how the governor is working to get students to consider this critical industry for a career. Manufacturing employment in Wisconsin is the highest it's been since 2007. But with baby boomers on the verge of retirement, Governor Walker is calling for a major push to attract young talent to the field. Inside this manufacturing plant on Milwaukee's northwest side, 160 employees at Wagner companies create glass and stainless steel hand railing you'll find right here in Bruce City. If you're walking around the Bradley Center or if you're down at uh, the Brewer Stadium. And across the world. When there's a uh, high rise building that's going up in Dubai, it's likely going to have our hand railing that's there and there. President Michael Dover says the employee owned company has incredibly high retention. There's a substantial number of people that have been with us for 35 years, 30 years, 20, 25 years. But as Dover looks to the the future, his biggest concern is finding workers to one day replace them. It's a challenge for us as the funnel isn't filling on the back side. Thursday morning in front of a crowd of statewide manufacturing leaders. We ultimately need more people in the workforce. Governor Walker touted increased state investments to get students interested in the field starting in middle school. Manufacturing has made a, an absolute comeback. Uh, those are good paying jobs. And consider technical school for family supporting careers. Manufacturing jobs on average pay 20% more than the average job in the state of Wisconsin. Back at Wagner Companies, unskilled position salaries start around 35000 a year, and it only goes up from there with a two-year degree. We are always looking for talented metal polishers and welders. In Milwaukee, Ben Jordan, today's TMJ4.